Okay guys, this is the new version of the dashboard for Auto Regram version 4.4 and later. The first thing you're going to notice at the very top is the running switch. You can turn off the extension completely. You can turn off the actions by toggling that. On the far right, we show you the Instagram page that you're currently logged into. It's good information. Um, here's the timer. That's the next. It's a countdown timer to the next time it's going to check for new post to repost to your pages. Um, you can set up a runtime. So if you want to schedule the extension to look for new posts during a specific time period, this is set to 24 hours pretty much. So if you want to copy that, feel free. This is uh, set to do uh, a three hour check. So every three hours, we're going to do a repost um, to all of my pages. Three hours seems to be the sweet spot. It gives your followers enough time to like and comment um, and help your uh, posts get traction. Anything less, if you go say to five minutes, um, Instagram will start to block the extension because you're scraping too much information from your account. So keep that in mind. You could cause errors as you go lower. Give credit to the original author means we, you will mention, we'll add the mention back to their page. So we'll say credit to whoever we got the post from. That way um, you don't get in trouble or it's just uh, good karma. Add tags to your description. We'll automatically add the hashtags that you've set up in your tag list. So um, as you get into your tag list, you can assign groups of hashtags so set up maybe 10 groups with 30 hashtags each. The extension will rotate through that those um, lists or those groups and automatically add that to your post. That'll help you get traction. Um, you can repost the original description. So we'll take the original description from the post and include it as your description. And then your next option would be remove hashtags from description. If they've added hashtags to, the, to their description, we'll um, take those out for you. If you want to repost hashtags from description, we will include those hashtags in your tag list. So we'll, we'll remove them and we'll add them to your list and we'll separate it so it cleans up your description. If you don't want to um, use the original description, you turn that off and you get a new option, which is post default description. So by clicking that, you can set up a default description. So that's kind of handy if you want to do that. Now on the left, you have linked pages. Those are all of the Instagram pages you have listed in your Facebook creator studio. That's where you're going to um, turn them on and off as far as which ones you want to use with the extension. The watch list is where you're going to add all of the Instagram pages you want to check for new posts and then you can assign those to your linked pages. The tag list, that's where you're gonna create groups of hashtags for each of your pages. And you can create like 20 per page and what have you, but go ahead and play with that. And then of course, my accounts, um, that's gonna be for billing purposes for the pro features we'll be adding. Activity, this shows you the last 100 actions the extension has done. So you can kinda keep up to date and see what it's been doing behind the scenes. Tutorials, um, as we add new features, all of the um, instructions on how to use those will be in tutorials. So hopefully we got through that really quick and you didn't get bored. So version 4.4, auto regram, give us a like and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.